the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Practice forgiveness. Some of you are even offended with God right now. God, I don't know how you want us to pray again. I've prayed everything. You, you, one day or there, I wish you, you could read some of the text messages people sent me. Since they cannot see God, you who have said you are representing him, they carry that aggression that since he didn't reach the throne room. They bring it and land it on you. They can write something like, Apostle, good evening. I'm tired. I don't know that, 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 and this and that and that. I'm offended. Since God hears you, talk to him that I'm tired. And you know what? Now, imagine that I see that and I call the person. I say, see, don't think because I'm preaching quiet. No. 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 See, our world interprets a life of aggression as masculinity. By masculinity, I don't just mean it to males. When you are cool-headed and you are temperate, the world looks at you as a weak person. They like people who are aggressive. You are, a, you are, you are, you are almost like, I don't want to use the expression a freedom fighter because, uh, you know, and it looks like you, you are somebody who fights to the end. And people say, that's right. Can I tell you, in this kingdom, learn from Jesus learn from jesus there are times when you are strongest when you look weakest yes sir yes sir and when you are strong and you can bring your strength under control you are strong indeed i know a gentleman many years ago he used to be a builder and then he fights boxing i think they have a license you don't fight outside the ring there's there are some rules that they have and one time you know he had a problem with this bike man and the guy the bike man so he told me was just shouting and said don't think because you are big i can be and, and he looked at him and said oh dear i mean look at this, look at this look at this guy <laughs> can i tell you when you have the power to do so much and you can restrain yourself you are you deserve an applause by the whole world indeed for the dexterity and the excellency of your maturity God had the power to call 10,000 angels and yet he was led like a sheep to the slaughter you could imagine Satan and the Roman government saying finally we brought this man to his knees this was the lion of the tribe of Judah the root of David looking so weak had bled and looked very weak let me tell you this fear weak people it was weakness that killed strength on the cross when you see people look weak or act weak towards you it's not that they are incapacitated is that they are walking based on a higher level of light and intelligence by this some of you need to go to your office tomorrow and stop that petty fight and you know some of these things that is almost rubbishing your pedigree no buy a gift and go and give the person and the woman is saying no there must be charm in this gift you will think she will say thank you no i don't trust this person go and throw it no problem as for me i've made up my mind that i will live a peaceful life a peaceful life is a goal that you can set and live a peaceful life within the times that you have serving the purposes of the kingdom and I challenge you, my proposal to you is that you rise to a higher realm of living. There is a superior realm of living above and beyond the grips of this kind of mediocre living. 
there is there is living with excellence and this is the key we're almost done number number five very quickly you must have a high degree degree of tolerance still colossians chapter 3 from 12 to 13. tolerance is similar to forgiveness except that tolerance means you are prepared to have that offense happen again <laughs> you see the difference between forgiveness and tolerance is that forgiveness is creating making accommodation for weakness are we together now a one-time weakness tolerance means you factor in that limitation and live with it because it will happen again and again and again there are people who you need to go past forgiving them they will not change create a system of tolerance are we together i remember many years ago truthfully speaking i was talking to a couple and i think the woman was saying that the man that he is not responsible and yet he prays like a prayer warrior when she he is shouting to the roof and you know she just said he should reduce his voice he's disturbing her and so on and so forth uh I, I i couldn't say forgive him because that will not end for as long as that man will pray now that you are married to him you are there for life they ask you all these questions you said yes now you are there are we together now and honestly when i saw the man he truly is a prayer warrior when you hear his voice you know that oh no this man is not he doesn't he doesn't come and just mumble tongues he prays he's praying and she felt he was not being as responsible as she should be now how do you tell her forgive him forgive him means you don't expect it to happen again tolerance means it will happen again and again and again an example your security man remember you forgave him january he promised that it will not happen again and he slept on duty he slept on duty and promised that if he sleeps again you should drive him and he slept before you came here so let me advise you and tell you what to do you don't forgive him you tolerate him you see disappointment only comes when there are expectations when there are no expectations there is no disappointment tolerance some of the people that god is going to be using to bless you and lift you let me tell you for a major part of your relationship with them you will feel like killing them and killing yourself you will need to be tolerant until the day the grace that was on them for you comes to fruition do you think that do you know read about elijah historically speaking you know that elijah was a temperous man so don't blame the sons of the prophets i'm sure they had had it enough with him but elisha said no way it was dr Murdoch who said adaptation is proof of honor you have to learn to adapt the man who god has sent to help you and give you money to start out life he's an angry man don't forgive him tolerate him he will insult you for one year but the day he sends an alert into your account it will be an answer to your prayer of 10 years endure 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 hardship as a faithful soldier don't say i'm angry is he god and then you make that costly mistake and you find out later through your pain that all blessings come from god through men to men are we together i'm saying this because i doubt if there are any persons here who are not connected to some superiors who may not have the 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 most commendable character disposition it's not unusual with leaders whether in ministry whether in corporate life whether in family life you will find reasons to have superiors contemporaries and even subordinates that may not be at their best character wise now the responsibility is on you to build that system of tolerance so that you can stay in the harshest of environments and still find your joy until the blessing that that environment should give you comes many of you if you don't learn this you will abort many great seasons in your life because of anger i rather die than come and be washing a car for my uncle am i god and the holy spirit says keep washing but then one day as you wash that car you will not know you are washing your own car and your uncle comes out and says sit down here 
let me tell you a story in 1945 and by the time he's done telling you that story and he tells you how he lived under a bridge he tells you how he was betrayed and stabbed when a car hit him he now starts telling you his stories then you will be broken and you will say and you are still standing you lost your job you lost all your investments in 1971 you went abroad only for you to be jailed in prison for five years uncle i never knew this about you and now you see the reason why he's suspicious of everybody because he's had over how many decades of pain can i tell you you must be able to tolerate and forbear people just because they have not told you their stories there are people who have been so broken and wounded in relationships the moment they see anybody coming close i'm not even talking of just married relationships any kind they have been scammed by business people someone has come and said i want to marry you and the person just broke their heart and went away and the moment they see someone coming that fear comes give accommodation for people's pain don't just generalize and conclude there are others who have done businesses with people they were scammed cheated are we together and they had nothing to say so when you come to meet them and say there is a business idea and they become so meticulous and they are asking questions who is your father where do you come from where do you worship and you're saying all for this small business uh -uh. be tolerant when people have gone through pain in their life their pain builds a new vista by which they view life are we together there are people seated here right now you are listening to me and you are only here truly because of the message of god the things you've gone through in your life did you know that there are children who have killed their own parents do you know there are parents who have killed their own children terrorists are all across the nation and you will be surprised that some of the people who have been kidnapped the information and the planning came from people who were close sometimes a kiss that is supposed to be a sign of intimacy can be the signal to the enemy and i'm standing here only because you may you made a way that's the testimony of certain people here they set up five ten companies and traveled abroad returned back and found out that people had changed the documents and left them in pain forbear just because people do not tell you their stories does not mean they do not have stories are we together I remember a man of god who wanted to invite me some years ago and he kept asking questions who is this where did he come from and the people who were trying to encourage him to invite me at the point they got fed up and they said what kind of man is this and when the person reached me in anger and said can you imagine wanted to give this man the privilege of having you and he was asking all kinds of senseless questions i said no you may not know who has climbed his pulpit and caused a lot of pain to his membership you may not know who climbed his pulpit and used one hour to create something that took five years to correct allow the man vet me there are some of you here you heard about me many years ago but it took you many years of watching of looking of hearing of verifying your suspicions until you got to a point where you are comfortable you deserve to be left until you find reasons to there are people who have not gone through anything in life or have gone through too many things they don't fear again <laughs> yes sir there is a way you go through too much pain you don't fear pain again they bring a business you say no problem i just came out of prison let's do another one if it doesn't work that's it <laughs> and i'm standing here only because you you made a way made a way when our backs were against the wall and it moved to see it was all about you made a 
away And we're standing here Only because you made Write it very quickly, we have to end. Number six. What is the sixth principle that you need to engage if you want to be blessed by association? You want to maintain relationships, number six. You have to become an active contributor to the growth of that relationship. You want to maintain relationships that count, you must be an active contributor to the growth of that relationship. Parasitic relationships are self-centered and dangerous relationships. Unfortunately, our world is full of these kinds of parasitic relationships where the contribution is one-sided. You see this with business people. You see this with family people. You see this with ministers. Can I challenge you? Do not be in any relationship where you are only receiving. There are people like that. If you ever see a text or a call from them, they are in need. So they will send the text and ah, Calvary greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. You know that that's just a preamble. Sorry, I've come again. Oh, you know that uh, it was by this time last year. Can I tell you this? It's a terrible thing for people to know you as being a self-centered person. It's an ugly way to live. Biology, nature teaches us that it is giving and receiving that balances life. There are people, as I speak to you now, they are so self-centered. They don't care what happens to anybody. They fish relationships like fishermen. What can I get? What is a need for me? And that is the ultimate drive. Can I tell you this? It is heartbreaking when people know that you are in their lives only to receive, never to give. It is a terrible thing. I used to give an example many years ago in Zaria how that I, I hope it doesn't happen again you know there are conductors you know conductors that um, that 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 manage these vehicles that pick people town service and sometimes you see them all in an effort to get the car filled they can come and dance around you and say oh beautiful lady come and enter this car and to them they are looking at hundred naira or 200 naira that's all that they want the car to be filled so that they will move and out of that self-centered nature they will flatter you and say all kinds of nice things while they are talking to you if someone enters that car and is filled they will leave you right there and be on their way going now you are, you are just about to be enjoy the moment it is painful when people know that all that you do to them is for yourself through them not for them that means that you are nice to someone but you've sat down and you've calculated it that in being nice this is what i have to gain so let's be nice let's call him apostle because these signs and wonders we need it after we receive it, you can call him whatever it is that's why it pleases the father so much when we love him and we worship him because of who he is not because of what we get it gives joy to the father when he sees us rolling on the floor blessing his name and worshiping him and he comes to you and says to what end and you say i just love you for who you are imagine that someone be have you seen people who were so nice you began to be afraid because you suspected that this this cannot be for nothing and then you now meet them and say okay so why i mean just what is it and they say no i'm just like that just like that because our world is a selfish world every time people say good afternoon sir they are not saying good afternoon sir what they mean is you better not allow my honor pass like that without your reciprocating it it is terrible and almost irritating to live in a self-centered world there has to be someone who is true enough that can love you for who you are stand with you and by you for who you are and let me tell you this there are people like that do not think everybody is a self-centered person who is just trying to use people no there may be many but there are a few that are sincere when they love they love sincerely when they give they give sincerely become an active contributor 
to any relationship that you are part of in your office don't sit down and say our boss is there whilst we are here they've not increased our salary now december is coming let's watch and see what will happen no what can i do for you my lord i want you to know my heart is your very powerful song what can i do for you my lord i want you to know my i prayed and i told god something and it's still my confession today that i have never sought his face because of tea and bread it's not fame or anointing or power that brought me to ministry i came because i truly loved him and for the rest of my life for as long as i have breath living in me money fame reputation will never be motivations for my serving the lord thank god for the little that you know he's brought all of the tokens that follow priesthood i am grateful and indebted to him but that was never the motivation i am amazed to see the things that drive people into ministry today i am amazed to see the things that drive people into the pursuit of god today there are many people who seek him simply because they said you will not fail when you seek him that's an investment i love him with my life if he tells me to put down this mic today and become a cleaner in this house i stand by the god of heaven and i tell you this you will come back next week and find me cleaning here with the same joy and the same passion that i had because it's an honor to serve his majesty it's a privilege to be counted as one who can be a lifter of his word to the nations you must change your perspective many of you are disappointed today because you are not contribution conscious you are receiving conscious you come to the house of someone and you say this man is a rich man see money all over the table and you are watching senator honorable and in your mind you are saying god punish you sir you are my uncle and we've been suffering like this his car is dirty you never wash it there is no let me tell you this ask blessed people or people of influence they are very very fast to detect people who are selfless you come to the house and in five minutes you are washing the car you are looking for something to do first they will suspect that you are not sincere then they will allow time to prove your sincerity when they find you true they will bring you in and even treat you more than their biological children there are people who are working in certain corporations today not because they merited it by their technical skills they have shown such level of selflessness and dependability it's true do not be a self-centered person what is in it for me we do this um, sadly i love my precious nation nigeria but we need to change our values and our ideology every time we see a politician or a head of parliament or some wealthy person the first thing is what is in it for me wow this is his car sean sir good afternoon sir sir i'm, I'm great you know why can't you think and say what can i do how can i improve this man's life sir it looks like can i wash your car for how much no 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 nothing just to honor you as a seed it is powerful when you find selfless people who love you and love what you are doing just like that can i tell you i found a few of these people in my life and in this ministry and my goodness it is priceless to watch selflessness in action you see everything done with passion and the goal is never for self change your mindset some of you have been hated by many people today battles that are needless i can't be friends with this man he's not a millionaire what will i get nothing go what of you i hear your dad is a senator uh, can we be friends oh he didn't win the election oh really okay you'll hear from me and that's it <laughs> nobody wants to commit himself to a life 
over something that will not last because of selflessness there are politicians here and there are many who are listening you see people dance around them during election get their money the moment they lose that election not even a call to say may the lord encourage you mm -mm. they delete the number immediately and they go to the opposing person well done sir i didn't tell you i've really been for you it's not just that i didn't I made up my mind that as far as it depends on me I will serve the Lord with all my heart can I tell you sincerely my beloved people I have never served you and served Jesus so that I can get something for my pocket or get a name I stand by the God who called me I'm telling you this when I serve you I serve you as a privilege from the depth of my heart it is an honor that God gave me if I die today, you will try to raise me back. <laughs> if I don't wake up, you will go and throw me in the grave. And that's the end of it. And the work of the Lord continues. It is a privilege to be able to serve. Most men of God will not be able to say this because they think if you say it, people will look down on you. It's the truth. You can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. As for me, I will serve with all my heart. I will serve his majesty and i'll serve as many as he has brought under my care but let me challenge you be a selfless person there are some of you who because of this attitude of not contributing you can stand with a friend you are discussing kingdom you can buy bonds for almost 200 naira eat in the presence of the person finish it squeeze the leather drop it and you are still talking what sort of a life is that we have to change there are some of us who will buy food in front of children they are running around us you will eat there and the children that don't disturb me and finish it there and leave the children when i saw the video of our our the visitation to the idp camps i saw the hunger ravaged faces of some of those children i was almost in tears i said every one of these kids have a destiny in christ and just because you are not in their position however you are able to reach them let these people see the love of jesus i was even told i think i hope i'm right on that that there was one who had had malaria to a point that it deteriorated the person he was in coma in the camp there it was when the doctors when they saw the person they rushed i don't i hope the person survived can i tell you life is beautiful when you are a giver life is beautiful when you can give there is a law that when you give it comes to you but focus on the giving it is more blessed to give not just money there are many of us who are like that a program is organized one naira from it does not come from you someone is doing something in your city and your area you are never part of anything that does not directly benefit you if your name will be written on it and some kind of honor will be given then i can do it but once i'm going to be silent no i want a name through it no it is my prayer for everyone here that every relationship that you have now in your life and every association you become an intentional contributor if you're a man of god you have friends don't sit down and say people are forgetting my birthday forgetting my anniversary forgetting no become a contributor to that relationship hello how are you i notice it's like i've been sensing in my heart that you're not happy is there anything i can pray for you for eh, no 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 please talk to me you can trust me i can pray and the person says thank god i found someone do you know what it means to be a shoulder for someone to lean on it's more than being gifted being gifted is wonderful but it can be limited you've heard me say it, that my greatest desire aside being a minister of the gospel is that by the grace and the mercy of god that i can be a shoulder for someone to lean on it's true we don't have all this life that if someone is crying let my hands at least be able if i cannot do anything let me help to wipe the tears if i cannot pray with you and i cry with you together and i say lord show mercy to this person it's a contribution let me challenge you do not allow this week from today till next sunday happen without you doing something active and quality in the life of someone 
especially someone undeserving are we blessed let me give you the final one and we're done for tonight so six be an active contributor to the growth of that relationship it is also the reason why we're having the workers appreciation dinner an opportunity i'm the one hosting it to tell the people thank you thank you it's one thing to be called by god i can tell you one truth that god has blessed me and blessed this ministry with such passionate workers people who love jesus sincerely you know that they are not just doing it for apostle number seven the seventh key as far as maintaining relationships that eventually culminate to your being blessed is that you practice genuine love write it down this is the last practice genuine love three scriptures very quickly proverbs 10 12 proverbs 10 12 hatred stirred up strife but love covered all sins hatred stirred up strifes but love covered all sins john 13 35 very instructive scripture john 13 35 by this this singular sign this singular attribute shall all men know that ye are my disciples not when you are an anointed apostle not when you have a great ministry not when you pray in tongues by this shall all men know that you are my disciples if ye have love not for me one to another your love life is the clearest biblical index to measure your maturity more than tongues more than rema more than greek and hebrew words more than the theatrics of of ministry love first john chapter four first john chapter four from verse um let's see 26 first john 4 let's start from is there 20 first john 4 if a man say i love god and hated his brother he is a liar for he that loveth not his brother whom he had seen how can he love god whom he had not seen are you saying that now that if you say you love god and you hate men there is something questionable about your love your love for god is tested in and through your love for men can i tell you this loving the undeservable is true love when you love people who do not deserve to be loved that is true love One of the secrets that I learned about walking in the anointing is that if you want to see the power of God manifest in such marvelous dimensions in your life, then you must be one who walks in genuine love, not selective love. Genuine love. It must become your default disposition. And I have, by the grace of God, kept this truth and I have seen it work in my life. There are pastors who hate their members you cannot bless a people you hate the power of god cannot flow through you to bless the people god sees my heart and god knows that i love everyone who is part of this vision that i love you sincerely not because of anything tm no no my beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands my beloved is the most beautiful 
among thousands and thousands. Yeshua, ah, 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 Medical doctors are here, they will tell you that living in anger, bitterness, jealousy, all these things I have mentioned, they don't just have spiritual side effects, they have medical side effects. You can literally dry up your bones. There are many sicknesses today that were not originally caused by demons. Demons only found a door and cashed in on it to bring many people down to their knees and sadly many to the grave and lot went with him association demands that you rid yourself of jealousy association demands forbearance forgiveness association demands that you become an active contributor show me any man or any woman by god who works in keeping with these principles and remains alone show me any man or woman by god who works in keeping with these principles who will remain small and mediocre no it is a key to an excelling life it is a key to an excelling destiny many people by this message tonight god intends for you to be healed to show you first and foremost that you're ignoring the power of associations and relationship is costing you more than you would ever know and then number two to make up your mind determined by the power and the grace of god that from tonight until forever i am going to insist on quality relationships by practicing these principles go back home go online and listen to this message again and again don't assume you have gotten everything listen to it as many times as your spirit would require until it becomes spirit and life and then obtain grace from god to immediately become a practitioner of these truths and you will watch your life with astonishing wonder move from one dimension of grace to the other first your life will become a true expression of the life and the character of the christ in experience and then number two you will find out that you become an attractive force drawing all kinds of men all kinds of helpers all kinds of individuals who come into your life ready to hold your hands ready to defend you ready to stand by you ready to lift you that no matter what the problem has been as far as background and the rest is concerned god is giving you a key tonight that can help you are you ready to pray please rise up on your feet rise up on your feet let's take a minute or two to pray and then i'll speak over your life listen to me i want you to hear this while you're standing i hope that in another teaching god will grant us grace probably next year to teach you about men there are things about men you need to understand one all men are men so let it be no news to you all men no matter how great no matter how anointed all men the best of any and every man is still a man so there should be no surprises number two listen carefully that as flawed as men are god still hides his treasures in men the secret of working with men was found in the riddle of samson out of something strong came something sweet samson passed to go and see a particular woman and he found he killed a lion and after seven days the bees they did not find a fresh green tree to put honey they went and put honey inside a carcass it's a riddle there if you want the honey you must be willing to endure the smell of that carcass in the midst of the smell of that carcass there is still honey in it out of 
that angry man still there is an anointing that can lift you out of that nonchalant father who does not care whether your school fees is paid or not there might be one prophetic blessing that can come out of his bowels to lift you out of that self-centered relative who does not care if you die one day his influence is able to open a door for you out of that man of god who always looks sarcastic talk sarcastic one day you will find the treasure of wisdom that can help you out of your siblings that may not seem to be people who have whatever kind of wisdom you desire something will come out from them that will become your blessing prayer point number one lord give me the stamina and the discernment to endure relationships until that which was supposed to come out from them to me comes lift your voice and pray the grace to endure and the grace to be an active contributor to every relationship go ahead and pray ministerial relationships business relationships go ahead and pray even our relationship with God there are times we don't understand him but we trust him we trust him there are times it does not make sense what he's doing there are families who trusted God and lost loved ones there are people who trusted God and lost jobs there are times it looks like God seems to not be understood but even at that we still love him and we trust him there are times that you as a person your life becomes complicated even to you you may not even be able to explain and give definition to what you are doing someone is praying lord grant me the grace to know that all men are men at best grant me the grace to be able to endure the humanity of men until i receive that treasure that is locked up within them hallelujah last relation last um prayer point on relationships now we're going to pray father in this season bring to my life the strategic people you have ordained for the next level of my destiny and listen 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 i'm not done and grant me the grace to maintain those relationships until they bless me do you understand the prayer point you are praying listen there are some of us because of this teaching god is going to close some relationships in your life believe me you will not like it but it's a circumcision they will have to go out because they are not profiting where god is taking you to and it does not have to be evil people there are good people who are not so constructed for where god is taking you god will have to cut them out of your life but then god is also introducing new people into your space and you must have the discernment to receive them because some of them will not come in the form that is worthy of reception you need discernment therefore pray lord in this prophetic season of my life bring to my life the people that are responsible please pray you are a politician you are a businessman you are a man of god you are following online you're a pastor watching you're a man of god lift your voice and pray a family person lord bring to my life in this season my heart is open for strategic connections connections that will be the lift the ladder and the leverage for the next level of my life grant me the fortitude to be friendly grant me the patience and the endurance to receive of these people when they come please pray send to my life oh god the men and women who are needed for the next season of my destiny and grant me the grace to invest strategically into these relationships you can also pray cut away from my life oh god relationships that will only end up destroying me cut away from my life oh god relationships that are not profitable as far as the next level of my kingdom agenda is concerned
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God called Abraham and Lot went with him. And Lot went with him. It's time for you to follow and follow sincerely. And it's time for you to be followed to a safe heaven. People should not follow you to doom. And you should not follow men to destruction. Followership leads to glory and honor, not destruction. Pay attention to your association. There's no such thing as we're born together with. No, no, no. Throw away all those sentiments. And be very unashamed. Go back. Let me give you an honest assignment. Maybe two of them. Number one, go and write the list of the top five people in your life who are the greatest contributors to your growth, your loving Jesus, and your excelling in life. Invest in those relationships. I have taught it here. You cannot generalize relationships and treat everybody the same. Not everybody thinks you are a big deal. There are people today, Joshua Selman to them, looks like, oh, it's just one of those men of God. That's all right. There are people who Joshua Selman looks to them like, oh, it's, it's, a, it's a man of God. I think he's doing something well. There are others, oh, Joshua Selman is our relative somewhere. There are others who believe that Joshua Selman is a gift from God, sent from God to them. I would be stupid to treat all these groups of people the same way. No, I love everybody, but I would not invest the same level of energy and passion into it. No. See, when you find people who make you a big deal under God, be unashamed to invest your time and energy and your resources. There are people who have shown genuine care, genuine love, genuine concern, genuine prayer out of their way. There are others who don't care. I'm not talking about me. I'm saying when you go and look at your emotional space, your world today, you will find people who sincerely love you, who will give anything for you. Do not throw those people away. No. There are people who are very casual in your life. Construct your emotional energy. Don't just throw your strength to anybody and be disappointed. When people sow that seed of honor, respectfully speaking, there are men and women of God across the globe, across this nation, who have gone out of their way intentionally to build a relationship with me. I've been humbled, flattered, and even broken by their unashamedness to want a relationship. And now I have reciprocated with sincerity and love. You see that? If you don't invest into any relationship, don't expect returns. Don't budge into people's lives and expect that they give you the same place they are giving with everyone. It doesn't make sense. I think this is a word of caution for many of us before we wrap up. There are many of us who just appear in people's lives. No antecedents. There is no track record of your standing by them, helping them, committing to their lives and their welfare. You can't just appear into people's lives and want to be given a place of honor the same way with those. No, no, it's not done that way. There are people today I have not committed into their lives to the degree that they should give me certain levels of honor. It would be stupid of me to want that level of honor. I have not made that level of spiritual, financial, emotional investment into that relationship. Similarly, there are others who um, you should not just put yourself under pressure to feel that I have to invest this much. No. What was put in it? Show me prayers. Show me sacrifice. Show me forgiveness. Show me tolerance. These are the indices that makes for when someone is investing into a relationship, he does it with joy, knowing that this is what has gone into it. I'm saying this as a word of caution so that you don't find offense when you call a man and say, I know this man. I'm calling him and he's not picking. He's a CEO today and he's acting strange. Were you there when he cried? When his children died, were you there? When they were crying in pain, and were you there? When he had a legal case, were you there to pray with him? Don't appear. Many people do this even to politicians. These people go through pain. They go through all kinds of embarrassment. And God now shows them mercy. 
and the moment they emerge those who were there that suffered with them we come and push those people away and come and stand and want a position of honor it is unfair so you must obtain grace from god you must find someone's destiny that is worth your commitment don't wait and say who is there who will commit to me it may be a mother a father a brother a sister a spouse a leader a man of god whoever make sure you do something let me pray for you we have to wrap up father in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare you have taught us a very deep mystery blessed by association that our relationships and associations have far-reaching implications than most of us know i pray for everyone under the sound of my voice if there is any relationship that through carelessness or lack of discernment you have lost today that is costing you so much i pray and i call upon my god who is also your god may god show you mercy and bring restoration in the name of jesus christ number two i pray for you that all the principles that need to be engaged to maintain quality profitable relationships relationships with your superiors your contemporaries and your subordinates i declare the grace to walk in keeping with these principles may you receive that grace now in jesus name thirdly i pray for you because i sense in my spirit like I, I i said this weeks ago or i think a few months ago that there are people whose seasons are coming to an end in their lives and other seasons are starting let me pray for you the persons the groups the associations that god has mandated himself to be part of your life for your rising for your lifting in the name of jesus you will not miss out with them in this season everything that makes for offense everything that makes for bitterness jealousy unforgiveness i declare that it leaves your life right now the endurance you need the adaptability you need the stamina you need the maturity the sense of forbearance you need to maintain these prophetic relationships so that they can deliver to you that which god has put in them i release that grace upon you in jesus name and hear me those of you who currently have relationships mandated by god and it has is yet to deliver to you the prophetic benefit that that should have come from that relationship i decree and declare beginning from this week begin to reap the benefits that come with that relationship in the name of jesus christ and hear me whoever has forgotten you that should remember you for the sake of the name of the lord in this season i call upon the god of my covenant and i declare that this week will not pass until they call you in the name of jesus christ keep standing everyone the greatest relationship that we need that makes for us to be blessed indeed please no movement let's respect the altar call is the relationship with jesus christ you can have a relationship with joshua selman koinonia the body of christ but in order of priority the greatest relationship that the bible mandates that a man can have that the profitability of that relationship is here on earth and even in the afterlife is the relationship with jesus for many of you you have received this call and this proposition for a long time jesus is calling you he's standing like one who truly desires that relationship now there are two groups of people i want to call very quickly our time is up number one those who are saying apostle whilst listening to you the holy spirit began to convict me i'm inside i'm outside following online the overflows i need jesus that's category number one number two there are those who are saying apostle i came to jesus but i truly trivialized my relationship with him and i've replaced him with so many things and i want that restoration of relationship 
wherever you are i'm going to count one to five we have just a minute for this whether you are across the balcony inside here all of the overflows very proudly like one who is coming back to a savior and a friend come god bless you i'm counting one to five softly and tenderly jesus is calling calling for you and for me keep coming two three is calling for you come home come home you are weary, come home Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling Calling for Four, are you coming to Jesus? Come to him with pride and come to him with joy The Bible declares that as many who will come to him That he will in no wise cast away Come, come he can give you a new beginning this can be a fresh start for you do not allow december go like that jesus is calling no matter what you have done no matter where you have been he can give you a new beginning in the name of jesus now i salute every single one of you thank you for your determination to come to jesus when you come to him he does not bring you down he lifts you up it is your relationship with him that begins your journey in this kingdom are we together the bible declares for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life thank you for coming may i request that you lift your right hand inside and outside everywhere following online and all of you who are following from your homes your offices your devices you can follow lift your hands before jesus i want you to say this after me but when you say it let it be from the depth of your heart say lord jesus I hope tonight you blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline